Hey guys, Mark and Adam with uh, Hawkeye Ordnance, Hawkeye Ignite, and uh, in this case, Arms and Arms and Vortex as well. So many people. So many people. We're very, very blessed. And uh, one of the cool things that's happening this year is a new scope, actually a new scope line, mm -hmm. Vortex Optics. And uh, we are blessed enough to do one of the first videos on... On the Gen 2 Viper PST, and in this case, the 1 to 6. Yep. So uh, Adam and I have both been shooting the... The Razor 1 to 6 for what you've got a couple of years, I've got a yeah, season or so on mine, and uh, it's a venerable optic. Uh, but this is really about the first look at this. We'll do some comparisons now, but um, but in the interest of time and, and really just sort of featuring this one, let's just talk about the Viper. Um, I have uh, no trigger time with it, I've had a chance to look at it, so Adam, I defer to you to kind of tell us uh, what your thoughts are on the scope. Well, um, I mean, it's been a long time coming. It's uh, from what the folks at Vortex tell me, it took two years to bring it to market. Uh, we've been waiting for kind of an intermediate price, one to six, for a long time. And um, you know, there was a little bit of sigh relief when the Strike Eagle came out, but it still wasn't really. We're, we're looking for a one to six Viper, and um, when I finally heard it was coming out, I was I was super pumped on it, and. Um, um, I was actually, when I actually got to look through it, I was, I was pretty impressed that it, it's actually very, very close to, uh, to a razor, a razor quality scope. A lot, yeah. of, a lot of the features carried over, if you look at them side by side, they actually look very similar. Very similar. Uh, it's really, you can't even really tell until, until you can tell one's shorter than the other one. When I first saw it, uh, I thought it was a black razor. I didn't, you, I thought... I, know, I thought it was the same tube and everything until I put them side by side. It is a little bit longer, and what I didn't expect them to do, and I was kind of glad they did, was they used the, the Razer ocular lens on the back, which kind of changed the whole form factor of the scope over the Gen 1 Razer. If you, if you look at back at pictures of those, it is significantly different, and, and by using the, uh, the Razer ocular lens, they, they you know, captured a lot of that that uh, minimal periphery signature that we like so much about yeah. the razor. No, it's, that was that was the one thing I was really concerned we'd lose. And yeah, it's, it's there. It's, it's awesome. not it's not pencil thin anymore. No, um, but it's it's pretty close. There's a little adrenaline that'll go away instantly. Mm -hmm. Yep. So and kind of one of the things I you know there's lots of folks with monotone voices who are going to come out and tell you all about the specs of all these things uh, in the coming days. Here we're we're a few days out from shot. Um, the big question is how does it compare to the Strike Eagle? Not even the same thing. Nope. I, mean, I mean, the Strike Eagle is an excellent scope for the money. This is something else. If, if, you are, if, you're, if your thrift drives, if you can do this, and your thrift drives you towards a Strike Eagle, you probably did yourself a disservice. Yep. Now, if you're, if you're contemplating the Razor, it's a, it's a harder choice because they are really close. Yep. And, um, and anybody who has a Razor is probably not going to feel left out that, that they don't have a Viper. Yep. But uh, if you if you just can't justify it in your head to, to spend razor money, you're not missing out on a whole lot. No, it's with, with the, the new Gen Two. So I want to hear about your shooting experience with it at uh, Hard as Hell. Um, but just to give you kind of my quick, I, I got a chance to look at this uh, a little bit ago and go over it and kind of just compare it side by side. Uh, this is my rifle, so I've got obviously a lot of trigger time on this with this this optic. And my initially. You know, especially short range in the shop here, boy, they look an awful lot alike. I mean, it was really, it's super impressive. I didn't really notice anything until we opened the door and we looked kind of like at the trees out in the back, which is maybe a couple yep. hundred yards away. And then that's that sort of magic sheen, shine you get from the razor at that range. Uh, that wasn't there. But that's not a lot to give up. I mean, right. Like, the way I, I kind of describe it uh, as, as I try to articulate it to people, if you were to take the Pepsi challenge on these and somehow set up a scientific test, if you're under 30 years old, you're gonna have to go Google that and come back. <laughs> but um, um, if you if you look at them side by side objectively and you don't know which one's which, I could tell. But under 100 yards, I'd be cheating because I could tell by the by the, the peripheral oh, signature sure. on the outside. Yep. Yep. That's the only way I could tell inside of 100. They're they're that close. Pretty good. Once you get beyond 100 yards, then you can start to see some of the clarity differences. If you're if you're used to looking through a razor like like we are, and you spend as much time looking through them as we do, yep. um, both as athletes and as salespeople, um, you can you can tell the difference when you're looking at things that are far away. Absolutely, uh, the the very sharp definition, you know, splash when your when your bullet hits the ground, things yep. like that. 
Um, that's where you start to see the separation between these two products. The one, the one thing though is, is uh, you know, the one I think the, probably one of the only criticisms of this optic right here, which is fantastic, is that it's heavy. Yep. In its space, and they did reduce some weight here. We'll, they did. We'll fly in the exact weights on both of these. Yep. Um, on the screen there. I believe I believe they shaved off five ounces. That's, that's, that's the number that I have that I have in my head. Yep. It's not it's not as light as the old razor, but then again they they put a bigger crystal in the back. So yep. that's that's some of what you know. And, and Vortex's ethos when they're when they're building products, they want to give you the best optical quality for a given price point. Yep. That usually comes at the cost of weight because they're giving you a better piece of glass. That's right. So and most of us would take a couple ounces to get the, the better glass. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So tell us about your experience at Hard as Hell. So you shot this in a full blown major last year. Yep, yep. yep. I shot it. I shot it uh, a few months ago at Hard as Hell out in Utah. Uh, made made hits out to 620 yards. I believe that long range target was. Um, didn't didn't feel undergunned at all. You know, I, I never walked away from a stage wishing I had my razor. Um, it's it's just it's an outstanding scope, and if you're used to the razor, it's it's very. You know, it's very seamless. I mean, the, the reticle is exactly the same. Yeah. The illumination is exactly the same. The form factors, it's, it's all, it's all razor. So, it, you know, it, 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 uh, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't foreign at all. It was, it was, cool. it's just, a, just a scope. On so they're doing this in MOA and MRAD. They're not going Correct. to pick up the Mitchell reticle on this one. Correct. Okay. So that's still only going to be available if you want it in, uh, in the uh, razor. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we'll, we'll find some pictures of the internals and the way it looks the best we can with our cameras. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's incredibly close. From the shooting experience, it's incredibly close. Yeah, it's really really good. Yes. So um, these hit actually this week at shot. I mean, they've yep. been leaking it out. We know yep. we, we knew they were coming. So yep. um, it looks like they're going to be in the mid sixes for retail. Correct. So um, for those of you who you know, this is a fourteen hundred dollar option. Mm -hmm. Fourteen, depending on where you pick it up. Mm -hmm. um, these guys at six fifty, you're getting. Getting an awful lot of value. It's going to be. Mike, this could even be a little hard on this guy. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm. I've got it. I've got it in a test pad platform right now. We're doing a little testing uh, yep. in the winter here, getting ready. But I'm. I'm seriously considering shooting it. You know, for the pro series and, and the major matches that we're doing next year. Cool. In lieu of the Razors, just to continue continue uh, testing it out. Let let uh, Vortex Nation get their hands on it as it's you know as availability is limited as they as they launch it. And then um, you know to continue to, to see what the capabilities of it are, but uh, it's it's a it's certainly a serious viable option uh, for for a three month scope. So, so um, these these will hit. We understand from Vortex that they're going to be right behind the drop with actually shipping these optics, which is rare in the industry. So keep your eye out. Armsandarms.com, which is where we are today, uh, is one place you'll be able to get them. Of course, your local retail will, will likely have them as well. Your favorite online shop, um, and we encourage you to check it out. It's definitely. Uh, I mean, I think I, I'd, I'd sign off on it as being a great option. Oh yeah, it's definitely a great option. I, I would say it's best in class, certainly in in the sub thousand uh, dollar category. It, it's all kind of all along at this point. Yep. So check it out at uh, vortexoptics.com.